Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today we're gonna have a special guest here today having some fun on the sawmill. About a year ago I went to visit Matt Rubin. We did a video yeah, sharing his business journey into his wood business, custom sawmilling, custom furniture making, and everything that he does. So if you haven't seen that already, uh, to check it out. While I was there filming that, he had a walnut log that was too big for his saw. Actually quite a bit too big for his saw. And he asked if uh, we could saw it here. And uh, it's been a year. <laughs> so today we're finally going to get this done, get his log all sawn up. So here is his walnut log, uh, crotch log. So I'm pretty excited about that. The two sort of crotch stems down here, uh, 24 to 30 inches in diameter. And then down here, we got this buttress flare and we're about six feet you know, across uh, any of these points. So it's, Kind of a weird but big and goofy log, which uh, should be an interesting thing to saw. So we got some uh, ant damage or insect damage down here, but it's a giant crotch log. This will be a fun one to saw and I'm looking forward to seeing what he thinks about what's inside of this thing. It's going to be quite a lot of fun. So he'll be here shortly. We'll get this thing loaded onto the saw and then uh, see what the heck is inside of this thing. Is it as big as you remember? Forgot how big it was. <laughs> So through some kind of magic miracle, these crotches ended up rolling back into pretty well perfect alignment. Or pretty darn close. Yeah, half an inch off. Yeah, that's, that's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> but now, since it rolled back this way, now it's too far this way, it's got to go that way. Which, uh, it's already not on there very well. So we're going to try and shove it this way without it fall into this hole and giving us another detour of something to do for an hour. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. It, 
doesn't not it does not move horizontally, no. I push the block through it. Yeah, you push blocks, that's all. I think that's pretty good. We're higher than before, but I think it looks pretty good. So after a little bit of effort, there is the log on there with our hydraulic tow board. <laughs> we got it floating up above the bed. It's sitting on there really nice. We got the crotches, same distance off the bed. We have a pretty, I think we're doing pretty well horizontally here. We have kind of the same, obviously we have a, um, a taper going on here. So this end is quite a bit bigger than that end. So it feels like we got like the middle, the center of the tree lined up all the way across here. Uh, Saw blade off the bed is 43, is that what we 44. said? 44, 44 inches off the bed and we're just barely gonna fit. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of extra room in here to uh, get this blade and this whole saw around this log. This thing's what, eight feet long or something? Nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Nine. Nine feet. And what was the, did you measure the? 60 across the crotch in the middle. And it's, depending on where you measure on that end, 77. <laughs> and then we, so we got, we should have some interesting crotch figure or something going on with these crotches and whatever's going on with these bulges on either side there. And then we should have some kind of figure with all that buttress in there. They managed to cut the thing pretty close to the ground, like real, real freaking close to the ground, which is awesome. That's where you get all the compression figure down in, in here so we should see some pretty good curly figure as we get down into this buttress i don't know what this giant perfectly round hole is but it's worrying me <laughs> there's gonna be some walnuts in there i think there's another one there squirrels may have got in there or something i was thinking maybe like someone had a big spike or that. hanging there so <laughs> this is utterly ridiculous so on the list of things that I've cut that are ridiculous, this is definitely up there. And uh, we're gonna make this cut, get our flat reference established, and then we'll try and roll this thing over and put our new reference down the bed so it's not all jacked up with a forklift and on blocks. <laughs> It's rocking.
Okay, tradition dictates that you do this. That one, the handle's broken, so careful. Oh. Is that gonna be enough water? We're just doing a little quick looky here. A quick looky. Before flipping it over. All set? I'm ready. That was very refreshing. Did I get you? A little bit. Looks like wood. <laughs> that's quite the uh, crack in the middle there. That, that's all. I think we're going for bark inclusion this time. Big one, all, almost all the way to the base. I hope I can roll this over without cracking it. It's completely split in yeah. two. There's what it looks like so far. We'll see if we can roll it over without destroying it, having it come completely apart. Cause that's Oh, that's a huge hole. That's yeah, big. Is there a walnut in there? I yep. see a walnut. I told you there'd be walnuts in there. That, that's that's deep. All the way down in there. All right, so this is these are gonna be nested slabs. <laughs> nested split bark inclusion slabs. All right. Well, let's see about rolling this thing over as gently as possible then. You ever seen such a big grub from a log? Oh yeah. Find out there's a big ass hole in there. Just like a big one. Munching away. It's in the walnut. <laughs> it's getting the nut. Yeah. It's getting hungry. Some sort of uh, fecal matter here. Yeah, yeah a little, some little poops. Is that grub poop? I don't know. Or is Maybe. that mice, mice poop? Rat no, poop? That's kind of, it might be rats. That almost looks like rat poop. There's a little, a little grubby. A little friend. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> and a pile of, pile of walnuts over there. That's a lot. Of, some squirrel, maybe a squirrel poop? Yeah. Squirrel poop? Oh. More grubs? Oh, grubs? There's a few more. Oh yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Very nice. Looks like most of the walnuts are already eaten. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we are rolled over and ready to get slicing for real. Finally, did you decide it was uh, three and a half three thick? And a half. Yeah, I think so. And where do you want to start? Same kind of thing, kind of clip the crotches, or we want? To... You're a Sawyer. You tell me. I'm just, I'm just some amateur guy who just loves wood. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> uh, it might be cool to get some. Like inch and a half cuts off the top. That's what I usually do with my big logs and get some six quarter off the top before you get into the meat of the log. So plan that out. You just tell me where you want to be in. I will put the blade wherever that is. We can also just like start to the meat and then put that piece back on and slice it again later. Right. That's not a huge problem either. That's normally what I do is I just oh, kind yeah. of figure out where I actually want my real cuts to be. Sure. And then I'll do a, what do you want to call a salvaging pass, uh, whatever the off cuts are. It's kind of up to you though, whatever you want, it's fine. Or if you want it to actually end up like where you want the first cut to be here somewhere. I'm, I'm measuring, well. Because that bottom isn't particularly good, so I wouldn't worry about right. having a perfect division. Yeah, I, I would. Suppose. I would end up with, I would, um, I would say end up with a remainder at the bottom of whatever the hell ends up being, and then just plan your actual best the cuts top, to start yeah. wherever you want your good cuts to start. Because that bottom's not super it's great anyway. Thing, it's a good thing you're here supervising me. Well, you know, someone's got to stand make around. Bad decisions. <laughs> so maybe. Uh, There's no bad decisions, just missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. <laughs> 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 so we're measuring 32 perfectly to the top here. So you want to go to 32 and 30, then start from there. Yeah. And then okay. we'll play with the rest later. All right. That's, that's, that's actually on my scale. <laughs> we can get back down. Because that'll actually yield us um, pretty close to 
three and a halfs all the way through by the time we get to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, so my my indicator is way the heck up there in La La Land right now. So now I should bring it down onto the scale. <laughs> it's like at 50 something inches right now. 32. Looks like it was struggling through the uh, compression figure at the bottom. The rising? Yeah. Okay. How about sort of slow down? Too excited. Either slow down or speed up, one of the two. It's got a figure though. Yeah, it's got a figure and it was probably it dry, so it didn't, the, the blade didn't like it. <laughs> it did not like that, did it at all. Is that abnormal for you? Yeah. Yeah? Very abnormal. Well, yeah, because... Yeah, it, it was fine, just right? high here and then the rest is lower. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's abnormal. Especially with a brand new blade. Yeah, normal it's everything's flat. Always. I'm not sure what's going on there. Cutting flatter in the beginning. Okay, good. At least it's kind of hard to tell because the, uh, the curve of the log. But at least right here it looks like it's flat. Yeah. What the hell do I know? Yeah, that's flat. Fixed it. Good job.
it pretty cool. You know, yeah. Cracking it. Crack something. Yeah, that's a lot of poop. Yep, a lot of poop. Yeah. Uh, gonna wash our hands before lunch. I right. Think. Grub. A big one. I think they're all big. <laughs> Fine. Fine. That's how it's going to be. Bloop. Bloop. There's a, there's a little bit of figure around the splits a little bit. Yeah. When you see these huge cracks all the way down, you're just amazed that the trees stood up. That long There's without. Nothing holding it together. I don't yeah. know what the hell it was doing. Let's see if I can get the whole thing. Well, that's your method, huh? You gotta get some air. You gotta get air. Get a little bit of air and then the sudden crash down of. Yeah, so you do have a little bit of this kind of figurey grain stuff around where the crotch figure should be. <laughs> it looks good though. Yeah, it's really nice right down there. There were all the, oh yeah, there's, so colors there's the, and the figure from the bushes down there. Undulating green in color and this side too. You know, besides all the mouse poop or whatever poop that is, literally everywhere. Then my hand's in now. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a little slices of walnuts in there. I love it. There's some. There is definitely some figure hiding in down there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, if they would have cut it another six inches, it would have been gone. Yeah. Most of the time, all the buttress, which gets stump ground, yep. that's where all the good stuff is. Mm -hmm. So if you can cut them off as low as possible, you preserve that. You got the weird, you got the flare. It flares out again. There we go. Oh, she wants to separate. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Maybe we should just separate them anyway and just, because they're going to break apart. No, there's nothing. There's. Yeah. That's. I mean, it's lighter, but not much. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm ready. You're born ready. Soak me. <laughs> I missed you. I well, think you, somehow you missed me. <laughs> it dropped. I off. saw the water go around you. Like Jesus. <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some crazy stuff down here in the buttress. Yeah, that one's got a lot of figure in it, huh? I don't know, we're just sifting through poop water here. Yeah, this is my, yeah. Dump that into the septic. <laughs> yeah, there's some nice banning of figure down here. Yeah, that's some serious poop water. <laughs> but yeah, around the, the split, you get what used to be the crotch figure. So you get this yep. nice banding of darker, fun, material there but otherwise i mean this thing's pretty freaking clear yeah like if you look at these Solid individually otherwise. that's uh like basically 100 percent clear slab yeah there's really no defects you want to grab us some dimensions on there how big is this bad boy well if it was actually closed up if it was closed we got 57 inches across the top of the crotch uh we'll call it like 47 if we were to close it i might just keep it open yeah. Whenever I do something with it, and then 60 at the bottom. 60 at the butt. That's that's a significant piece of wood.
my way, maybe. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Let me show you a new move. A new one? This is a new weapon. <laughs> it's called a. Right on by. Now you gotta do it again. Oh. So pretty much straight clear through here. This is the one little inclusion that Matt just mentioned. Nothing too crazy there, but that's a lot of straight green walnut. And I think we're still over, we're over like four feet the whole way down. Yep. This one's probably the most uniform too, because it doesn't have any flare. We do have some figure down here in the buttress. <laughs> That's a big piece of wood. Well, two pieces now. Shh, shh, still oh. one. <laughs> what about the nails? It said there were going to be nails in here. You'd think with a tree this old, there'd be something. I was promised no inclusion. <laughs> Lights my face. Fifty-nine inches. Down here. Let's see with your three-inch canyon. Fifty-four. Perfect. So there you go. Okay, I see your water skills. Okay. Show us a new move new we haven't move. seen before. All right. Stretch it out. This is gonna be tr tricky. I didn't get wet. You didn't get wet. But the worst part about that is it actually worked really well. <laughs> So you're saying you're kind of jealous. I am actually. That's, I'm jealous of that. Yes. A little regular one. I'm probably jealous of anything you've ever done. <laughs> it's that right there. This is pretty close to the last one. There's not like barely any air course defects. I think we're into like, are we quarters on now? Yeah, I was just going to say we're probably... We're pretty darn close. Can't tell the next, from this the next side. Next one's a pit. That one's got the pith. Well, it's got the pith on this side. This one has a pith on that side. So this is the Levy Cortison. Yeah. Cool. Cortison Walnut. There you go. <laughs> Let's try to spin it that way. Okay, here we go. Both cameras can see you. That was pretty good. That was a good one? Yeah. That's also kind of coarse. It's like there's another like shoot coming up through here. That's cool. And there's your little crotch figure. Yeah, there it is. About. Yeah. Right there. A little bit in between there. That's nice. Oh, right over the camera, huh? Yeah, well. That's what it's <laughs> It's like a still quarter sign. Almost. Pretty darn close some, to it. Then we got some defects. Jeez. Get these out of here. Yeah. This one's junk, just leave it here. Yeah. <laughs> Firewood. Yeah, I'll put it in the burn pile for you. We do have a little bit of the, the crotch figure in here now, which is nice. There's a little bit of that along the edge there next to its canyon. And some fun little ant damage on that side. But otherwise. 
Except for this, whatever this piece of metal was. It got pulled out. Very, uh, very clear. You know, usually when you get to the last slabs, it gets smaller. Usually? Yeah. Usually it gets smaller and lighter. Not really that case here. What is this crazy weird log you brought? Because it's defying all logic. It was the oldest walnut in Hennepin County when it came down. Oh, there's, there's actually yeah. an actual story behind it. Yeah. Do they have an actual dating on it? They might have. They, they, had to have a, they had to have a special permit to cut it down. Really? Yeah, it was a heritage tree. Got me a little bit. Got myself too. I'm glad you're getting into this. <laughs> it does have, it can, oh yeah, you can see really well. Yeah. You got some nice figure coming through here from the buttress, that compression figure. And you just got this really cool double void thing going on here with the weird void down here, like a butt rot kind of thing. And this is butt that rot. separations. It's butt rot. That's the butt and the log. It's rotting. It's butt rot. I don't, I don't make these things up. That's a real thing. These are some cool slabs, for sure. How oh, wide is this one still? Just to give some ideas here. I don't think it's that much narrower no, than the other No, it's really ones. not. It's still 47 in the middle. Nah, that's, still, that's still a big slab. Nice tabletop, 53. 53. Wow. That's a, and that's the second to last. Second to last, yeah. That's, that shouldn't be that way. No, it really shouldn't. <laughs> that's, that's not how this works. That's not how sawing, sawing cylinders works. <laughs> Defying all logic here. All right, so the last one is a remainder piece. So uh, it ended up being four inches thick. I thought it'd be smaller by the time I got down there, so it wouldn't matter. But by the looks of it, it's gonna be just as big and heavy as all the other ones. Going. <laughs> Blast that sawdust off of there. So this one just has some really cool kind of fun grain here surrounding the Cathedrals. splits. Huh? Cathedral grain. There you go, using the words. Yeah, the words. Yeah, cathedral grain. So away from the quarter sun now. So back to cathedral grain. And we got this little split thing going on here with some uh, more ant cavern stuff and like a dry rot butt kind of thing. Okay, for today's encore, we have the, uh, this is the, the second one? The second cap piece? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We brought this back on here. You can see some pretty substantial curl down there in that buttress area. So we're gonna give this guy a couple more slices and take a look and see what's going on in here real quick. Thank you. 
still got a crack in it though. More walnuts. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's a holy crap. Hello. That's a good one. Good thing we, good thing we cut it. That's why you want that buttress in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Grand finale. Glad we have the encore. Yeah. So one more log gone out of the pile. And as always, absolute love having someone here who also appreciates wood, enjoying the day, and just kind of doing something that I love. So thank you again to Matt for stopping by today. Finally, a year later. If you haven't uh, checked out the video that we did a year ago at Matt's place where he told us about his business and how he got started and how it's been going, definitely check that out. I will link to that. But otherwise, freaking awesome log, big one. I like the, it, it's, it was so weird that it stayed so big for so long. Just so bizarre. But on the bright side, the log pile is getting smaller, which feels really good. Now I have this big hole <laughs> right here where I had this log sitting for the last year. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, ends up being made for those. It sounds like he's going to make some tables and that should be pretty awesome. So definitely, uh, you know, check out his work and all that stuff. But otherwise, that's going to do it for me this time. Thank you, as always, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.